many people, MIDI is kind of tricky. They don't really know how to look at it. There's audio and then there's MIDI. A lot of times in live, people wonder, hey, can I speed or slow down MIDI? Will I have to stretch it or anything like that? No, you don't, it's just data. And um, with that data, it can always be corrupted. MIDI usually comprises of a couple of things. There's a note on message, there's a note off message, there's velocity, CCs, and program changes that can be sent. So with that, you can corrupt those things and turn that data into representing something else. One great way to hack MIDI is to use Max for Live. Another great way to hack MIDI is to use Max for Live and push. But we're going to use Max for Live, push, and a 16 velocities mode. So let's check it out. So I have a drum rack here that I set up. Three simple sounds. We have a kick, we have a clap, we have a hi-hat. So this is the basic layout of the push, if you don't already know. And then you could change the layouts here. So we're gonna go to the 16 levels layout. So if you don't know, this is from the MPC days where you had a low velocity right here and then a high velocity there and then everything in between. So to be able to hijack the 16 velocities, we need to turn off the ability for simpler to send velocities. I'm gonna do that here on the computer and if we go to controls on simpler and then we see the velocity to volume, I can just set that to zero. And then I'm gonna right click and say copy values to siblings. And that's gonna turn all these also to zero. Cool, so we now have, so no matter what, we get the same velocity. Next, we wanna grab the expression control, and that now is inside of the core library. And here's the navigation right here. Don't forget in Live 10, you can always add it to your categories, which I have it, I didn't go to. So I'm gonna take that and move it to the hi-hat. Okay, so now that we have the expression control on there, I also added note length because when you press on any of the pads, you're gonna run into problems where it's not gonna hold the velocity the whole time. So I just have the note going for a really long time so that as you step through the velocities being translated to pitch or decay, it's not gonna like pop up and then go down. It's gonna just hold where it's at. So if we go to the hi-hat, what I wanna do is I want to take that velocity and I'm gonna map it to the decay. And I've already got a min and max set here. Let's see if it's correct. Next, we're gonna go over to the clap and I've already got the pitch envelope set up the way I like it. And then I'm going to click on velocity again, the amount. So as you can see, I've got the min 50 and the max 65. So it puts it within a range that feels comfortable to me. For fun, let's also change uh, mod wheel to velocity and let's map that to the sustain. And this will just be insane. It's not as insane as I thought. I actually like it. So then we're gonna take the kick and I've already got drum bus in here. So I'm going to map that velocity to the boom. But first, let me tune this guy. Cool. So now this guy, I'm gonna do velocity and then let's do boom amount. And then zero is to, that's actually pretty good. So let's turn down the decay for a little bit. Eh, it needs a little bit more. Yes, that's a little bit of boom in it. So that's how you could take the 16 velocity layout 
and hijack it with whatever. I could have put this to filter or um, the dry wet of an echo on another track. You have unlimited possibilities when you're dealing with mapping uh, inside of Max for Live and using Live. So enough of this messing around with making sounds, let's just make a beat. 